Hi everyone, today is a part one of a review and styling of cargo pants for the winter cold weather, starting with the Zara satin cargo pants. The request to review satin cargo pants was from a viewer, so I hope this gives you some ideas. Let's start with the styling first. These pants actually run pretty big, so that's why they look really baggy on me, but let's imagine these being a little bit slimmer, but still with a loose fit. I've always liked the look of boots with parachute pants, and I've always liked the look of when past aviator Amelia Earhart wore her flight pants tucked in her boots. So since these pants have a billowy look, I thought they could look chic with these cowboy style boots. I love a good loose fit style paired with something a little bit more tight fitting on the top because obviously it's so comfortable when everything is not just tight fitting. Two, it gives you an effortless and casual look. Thirdly, I don't have an hourglass figure and so this will give you an illusion of a smaller waist and a bigger hip if that's what you're looking for. Because cargo pants can look a bit too casual, I like to pair it with something a bit more refined like this mohair cardigan. Satin material can also look a bit too dressy, but if you mix and pair it with different types of fabric, your outfit can look more daytime appropriate. This entire black and white outfit is very minimalistic with the pants having some natural flow and movement. Pairing it with this slight oversized overcoat with a dramatic collar really pulls the look together. During this winter season, I have really been loving mohair or anything fuzzy, and it really goes well with fabrics that have some sheen or shimmer. Pairing cargo pants with strappy sandals or heels helps to elevate the look. I'm a huge fan of pairing something more tailored with casual pieces. Now let's get into my review. These are great and affordable if you are looking for this type of parachute cargo silhouette. The pants does run extremely large. I'm wearing a size small and an extra small would have fit much better. However, this also runs long in length. I'm about 5'2 and this probably is still 2-3 to three inches too long for me. I do like that it has the pull strings on the hemline but still way too long. Great amount of pockets and love the hanging straps for that edgy element. If you live in colder climates like me during the winter, I would definitely suggest wearing leggings underneath. Trousers are still going to be strong for 2024 and I was really drawn into this color. It's a brighter brown with some olive hue and I think it's just so rich and beautiful. Let's do a review first. I'm wearing a size extra small and I feel the overall fit feels good because it's supposed to wear on the oversized fit but it's still way too long. It does have a pull string on the hemline which is great but not for someone who is 5'2 because the fit is still way too long. The fabric is very comfortable and has front pleat details. It has a metal hook and interior button for closure. Great amount of pockets, two sides, two on the legs, and two in the back. These pants sit high-waisted and I love that the band is so wide. The only thing I don't like is that there is fraying on the top of the waistband. That was the biggest no-no for me. As for styling, this looks so good with other tonal colors and so I paired it with this rich beige crew neck sweater and gold mules for a relaxed look. I like testing colors and thought going for a dark muted scheme with the olive green and gray tones will look really good with this rich caramel shade. Adding a pop of white with the shoes makes the outfit stand out. Even though we are at the heart of winter right now, this color combination makes me think this is also great for the spring season. By changing out the blazer for a bright classic white button down, this whole outfit looks so effortless and chic. While I love a good overall tonal look, I also like to bring in two tonal colors such as this caramel with the lighter brown and the black belt with a gray tee, while still keeping the pop of white. This is another great effortless look for the winter. This is my elevated urban look. If the pants weren't so long on me, it would look so much better paired with these classic black loafers, but I think you get the idea. For the winter season, I try to stay away from an all black outfit because having some color in your outfit does really boost your mood. Because this brown is a rich caramel color, it helps brighten the entire look even though the rest of the pieces are black in color. This paper bag style cargo trousers is super cute. Love the gray color on these trousers. 
The pants fit baggier on the top and tapers towards the hemline. These pants are supposed to be crop style, but they sit at a perfect length for me. They sit high-waisted with a super comfy elastic waistband. There are two side pockets along with side patch pockets, but fortunately there are no real back pockets. For the first styling, I decided to do a tonal gray and black look, making the belt the focus point of the outfit. This modest look is simple and effortless. For the next look, I decided to go for another simple outfit by adding a navy turtleneck knit and classic black loafers. This is a great everyday outfit, a classic look you can never go wrong with. I absolutely love a black and navy combo and I think adding the gray pants really helps to make this outfit softer and casual. Still I added a black overcoat to keep this look chic and modern. This will be it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to stay tuned for part 2 of my winter cargo pants styling and review. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing or hit that like button to support me. Let me know in the comments field what other things you'd like to see. Thanks so much and see you in the next one. Bye.